Vladimir Putin offers natural gas to Europe via the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. The European Union, as we know, is becoming more desperate for fuel supplies ahead of winter. This is by Jack McEnvoy, Daily Caller News Foundation, WND. Russian President Vladimir Putin said on Tuesday, yesterday, that his country could supply natural gas to Europe through a part of the Nord Stream 2 pipeline that is still operational, according to Reuters. Now that he has uh, informed the whole world that there is a part that's still operational, what's going to happen to that part? Is that going to be get? Uh, is that, is that, will, will that be sabotaged as well? Now, underwater portions of the Nord Stream 1 and 2 pipelines began leaking September 27, which shut down the pipelines in four separate locations. Putin stated on Tuesday that Russia could supply energy-starved European countries with more gas through the one undamaged portion of the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. However, he said that it was up to the European Union to decide whether to accept his offer. Germany and the EU suspended Nord Stream 2 certification in February after Russia invaded Ukraine. The EU is becoming more desperate for fuel supplies ahead of winter after Russia's Druzba pipeline began leaking on Wednesday, reducing Germany's oil imports, according to Reuters. Russia has continuously cut off natural gas deliveries through Nord Stream 1 pipeline and has blamed EU sanctions for its inability to provide Europe with more gas. The EU and the US are also planning to put a price cap on Russian crude oil to lower energy costs and target Russia's oil reserve revenues, which are funding its invasion of Ukraine. Putin said that Russia would no longer sell its fuel products to countries that impose a price cap, according to Barron's. Russia's president also blamed the EU for its energy crisis, claiming that they had neglected investment in the oil and gas industry. The EU is seeking to phase out fossil fuels and switch to using green energy as part of its climate-centric Green Deal. However, the energy crisis has forced nations to burn coal and label natural gas as uh, green energy and even nuclear. Green energy accounted for 17% of EU energy consumption in 2022, while fossil fuels accounted for 71%, according to Eurostat. The Russian embassy in Washington, D.C. did not immediately respond to Daily Caller's found a news foundation for comment on this. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.